Hey guys, it's Carl CDC, and I thought you were tired of seeing my PM2 all the time, so I asked the Knife Addicts Anonymous to send me uh, some pocket dumps so I can check them out on my YouTube channel for the next video. My uh, first submission is by my buddy, and my homie, Kona. So he has an evolution here. The evolution is by Rotten Design. Very high end, very custom knife. Very much his style, if you know Kona. It looks ergonomic. It has a really tactical but useful look to it. It's got like a cleaver style blade, titanium handles, and the clip on that thing is actually really nice. Next thing we have this flashlight here. I have no idea what flashlight that is. It looks extremely nice. It looks like it's titanium, very high end, very nice pocket dump. And then we have a Victorinox. I believe that is a Cadet or a classic SD, but it's the Alox version in aluminum. And then you have a Fox Hanks, which is again, uh, really nice, higher end, more expensive Hanks. And there you go, that's Kona's uh, trio right there. Super cool guy. Second uh, submission, we have the very best bug out guy, uh, Sack from Sack Stuff. And he has a Benchmade with Oh, I forget the scales. I'll annotate it right here, but I, apparently everybody wants some of these scales. I, again, the Axis Log, S30V, black coated. Um, the scales are G10 with a Micarta inlay. Just very nice, very high end scales. And then you have a, I, I believe that's a Tybalt, but correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And, and then you have a Lynch pry bar with a pocket clip. Got a little feather for aesthetics. And then you have just the regular O light. It's very much like SAC to have uh, like a spectrum of high end and just regular everyday carry gear in his pocket dumps. And it's very much like him to have a bug out. So thank you, SAC. Appreciate you, homie. And then we have the Viking, the Destroyer, the Survivor, Vern, <laughs> Vern Dog. So he has a bamboo pen, a nice blacked out pen. A flashlight that I don't know. Uh, I don't know much about flashlights uh, other than like O light and Phoenix. Then another Aidlox Victorinox, very nice. And then we have the Sabensa here with a really nice scale. Uh, I, I've never owned a Sabensa, but I hear this Holo Grind is extremely slicey, the action is smooth. And then we have some material he's making Hanks, by the way. Uh, shout out to Vern and shout out to the Hanks and mask that he's making. Uh, Vern is a pretty cool guy. Next, we have Brian. This is New York Blades. Recently started a YouTube channel with his Sebi. This one has some sort of birch wood inserts on it. Um, that beautiful grind. I'm sure it has a lanyard on it. I'm sure it's beautiful lanyard. Um, then I believe this is a Thai scribe, Thai bolt pen with a Thai mascus little button. Very nice. Then he has the Olight um, S2 Baton Pro, a little bit more powerful than the S2. Uh, he has it in titanium, which is nice, lighter weight, strong. And I don't know what this particular pry tool looks is, but it looks like a snake and has like a scorpion tail as an Arizonian I like that then we have two photos from my buddy Alex Blade Brigade uh, new YouTube channel as well we got three YouTubers here that's cool uh, so I think I believe that's a UTX 85 in red I forget what the blade he has is and then you have a CVB pen which he turned me on to the CVB pen I'm not a tactical pen guy I'm more of a utilitarian pen guy uh, engineer looking ones and then you got the bougie, the classy, classy bougie, uh, Louis Vuitton wallet from my buddy Blade Brigade. Super cool guy. Shout out to Blade Brigade. The second photo, again, you can see the bolt on the Civivi pen. Uh, and you can see the glass breaker on the UTX. Uh, just very classy. I love the red. I, I want to get an uh, out the front auto sometime soon and then we have my buddy gunner brian is a cool guy california guy i mean just an extremely cool guy great part of the edc community so he has an olight i believe that's an olight and then we have the manual sokom elite 
I hear great things about this particular knife. I like the blade shape. I like the grind. I like the thumb ramp, uh, the gripitude in the handle. It's beautiful. I hear it's ergonomic. All my homies uh, want me to check one out in the channel. It's an extremely attractive blade. Uh, we also have a traditional with two blades in here. Um, it looks like GEC knife, but I'm not sure. I really enjoy the patina. It goes very well with the background of the blade. And then he has a wallet. I think it's a Travax wallet uh, in black and black thread. Just a really nice overall pocket dump. And finally, my buddy Dre. Uh, I wanted this knife a, a while ago. I just didn't have the funds when it came out. I have the funds now, but now you can't find them. But you have the you have the Protrex Strider SNG blacked out. No branding on it. It's just black. Everything is black on it, and then it has a lithium ion, uh, no, uh, tritium tube in the button for when you deploy it. Just an excellent knife, uh, very aesthetic. Only reason why I wanted it was because of the tritium and the aesthetics of the knife. Um, I, I was a watch guy before I was an EDC guy, and tritium was always very interesting to me. Then you have a, I think that's a UTX-70 perhaps, or some sort of uh, Cali Legal Alt Ultra Tech. Then you have a fancy flashlight. Something up with fancy flashlights lately. And then you have the wallet on the back. But very aesthetically pleasing uh, blade uh, from my buddy Dre. Hashtag Dre Airshack Challenge. And today when I woke up, I, I grabbed a whole bunch of knives for a video. But BM2 is usually my EDC. You got my flashlight. Did some work with it last night. And I'm just home. So, you know, I got my, my big headphones. Usually I have my smaller headphones. Uh, from Jaybird, but that was the Knife Addicts Anonymous Anonymous Pocket Dump. We got uh, a whole bunch of great brands, very high end, uh, very useful uh, models. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe. All it takes is a little button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it puts a smile on my face.